Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Last week I received a query from a friend. I have an Excel file that has about eight sheets in it and I need to share it with colleagues. But I only want recipients to be able to view one of the sheets. Is this possible? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here's an Excel file with three sheets in it. If it works for three sheets, it'll work for eight. One way to do this is to right click on each sheet name at the bottom that you want to hide and select hide. But of course, anybody can right click on one of the remaining visible sheets and select unhide, choose the sheet to be unhidden and click on OK. So to stop that happening, once you've hidden the sheets that you want hidden, select Review, click Protect Workbook, make sure there's a tick in the structure box and click OK. And now if somebody right clicks on the sheet name at the bottom, Unhide is greyed out. But there's nothing to stop somebody going to the Review tab, clicking Protect Workbook to turn it off and then the unhide option becomes available. So to get around that, when you turn workbook protection on by going to review protect workbook, it's a good idea to set a password. And that way, if somebody tries to turn workbook protection off by clicking review protect workbook when it's on, they are presented with a please enter password box. So that seems to be the ideal solution, nice and easy. But it's not that difficult to disable workbook protection if you don't know the password. Search this channel and you'll find a video on how to do it. So let me show you a better way. I've closed the file down, I've reopened it, I've not saved it. So we've got no workbook protection on and we've got all three sheets visible. You need to open the VBA editor and the way you can do that is by pressing Alt and F11. For each sheet that you don't want hidden, click on the name of the sheet in the Project Explorer, that's the panel on the top half of the screen on the left hand side, and change the visible property to XL Very Hidden. Repeat the process for sheet two. You've got to have at least one sheet left visible, so I can't set sheet three to Excel very hidden. If I then close down the VBA editor using the cross at the top right hand corner, at this stage, there's nothing to stop a user opening up the VBA editor, selecting a sheet and changing the visible property back to Excel sheet visible. So what we need to do to counteract that is password protect the VBA project. VBA project protection passwords can be cracked, but not as easily as worksheet protection passwords can. So just be aware that the solution that I'm showing you isn't perfect. Also, for VBA project password protection to work, you need some VBA code in your project. So all I'm going to do is double click on sheet three. That's the one that is not hidden. That opens up the sheets module and I'm going to type subspace demo and press enter. It doesn't matter what you type after the word sub. I've used the word demo, but you can put anything as long as you follow the rules of naming macros, which is no spaces and start the name with a letter. So now to turn on the protection, go up to tools, VBA project properties, go to the protection tab, tick lock project for viewing and enter a password. Click OK and close the VBA editor down using the cross at the top right. I then need to save the file. Now, at the moment, the file is a standard Excel file. It's got an XLSX extension. So when I hit the Save button, it'll tell me that it can't save the file as an XLSX file. It doesn't say that, but that's what that message means. You can't save VBA code in a standard XLSX file. So I need to click on no. 
Then I need to change the file type to a macro enabled workbook, which adds an XLSM extension and then hit save. So now I have two files with the same name. I have an XLSM file and an XLSX file. I can delete the XLSX file, don't need it. If I then open the file, right click on the sheet name at the bottom, unhide is greyed out, go to the VBA editor, try and open up the VBA project to see the names of the modules to unhide them. And it asks me for the password. And of course, if I don't know the password, I can't go in and change the visible property of the sheets. Did you find this video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my weekly newsletter? And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.